Well, uh, I'm really pleased with the start. Uh, really disappointed with the first 15 minutes of the second half. I, I thought we were really making growth uh, through the first half, and then we took about two steps back uh, in the second half. And you know, a lot of new things going on with Cody now getting some minutes, and we got to get some guys adjusted to some things. But uh, I thought it was a careless, uh, as careless as we've been since we started the season. We just uh, our turnovers were extremely careless, and then that hurt our defense. And they were able to do the things that they do really well, and that's shoot the three. Um, and so I think our guys have got to look at just the carelessness with the basketball that um, we've been doing a good job of taking care of it, and tonight we didn't do that. But uh, proud of Jay Hill. Uh, I thought he had a tremendous night, um, not only to get 20 rebounds, but three assists, no turnovers, got a block shot, got a steal, just thought uh, made all of his free throws, or almost on five out of six. I just thought he was really good. I loved his activity. I thought that's the motor. Uh, that we got to have out of Jay, and I, I thought he was a huge bright spot tonight. What, what do you think was the genesis of that uh, kind of carelessness, maybe just getting up big and then kind of going on cruise control? Yeah, and just being, being inexperienced. Um, you know, this is an inexperienced team. We've talked about it. That, um, this was Cody's first minutes. Uh, this is Jay Hill's fourth game. This is, you know, Hans and, and Wilkes and Smith are in their – fourth game of their second year. Jules and David haven't played. Kenny hadn't played. So it's just there's so much inexperience. And uh, I think things 41 to 19, and, and we were so dominant in the first half defensively. But I we tried to tell them at halftime, some of that was fool's gold because they missed a lot of open looks off of our turnovers. Because I think we had maybe 10 turnovers at halftime. And that was a concern. And we talked about that at half. And then it got worse in the second half. Uh, with handling the ball, and they made those threes. So it's a good lesson. We want to learn lessons, obviously, as we build here, and that's what I told them uh, in the locker room. But it is, to their credit, it's good to learn lessons and still get wins. Is uh, Singleton injured? I'm sorry. Singleton hurt? Is he hurt? No. He played. What did you think of Cody in his uh, season debut? Well, I thought he did some, you know, good things. You know, obviously the other guys have had, the other guys have had about, you know, a month and a half here, of, or not a month and a half, but a good month of games. When you look at our, our, um, uh, the scrimmage that we had, and an exhibition. I think he might have played in the exhibition game. Did not play in the scrimmage. If I'm, didn't play in the scrimmage. Played in the exhibition game and then hadn't played. So uh, this is all new for him, and I did like his activity. Uh, we weren't going to play him any more than 20 minutes, and he got, uh, I think, 16. So, you know, I, I like what he did. He just, you know, like a lot of the guys, way too many turnovers. And he's a very good ball handler and very good passer. No assists, three turnovers. That's not what we want. But he had five, five rebounds, and I liked his activity in and around the rim. And I think he'll just continue to get better, um, you know, as he gets more minutes and gets more games under his belt. Coach, um, eight shots for Mo tonight. Is that something you want to stretch to the team, like get more um, paint touches? Well, we are getting paint touches. I thought he did a good job of kicking things out until the second half, and then he tried shooting out of a double team, and those are things he's going to learn. And this ended up being a tough game for him once they started making those threes um, because he's a legit center, and they're not really playing with the center. Uh, a lot of times they're playing five guards, and so it becomes a, a pretty difficult game for him. So. He didn't quite get the minutes that he's usually going to get because we decided to go smaller and switch everything. So, Coach, they only had uh, four points in the paint. Can you just talk about your team's uh, interior defense? Um, you're talking about their paint scores? Yeah. Yeah, well, again, that's, it's good, but there's some fool's gold. They're not a team that scores in the paint. Um, there are three play came in making 12 threes. I'm not sure how many they were shooting, but shot 45 threes. 45 of their 63 shots were threes. So. Um, but that does, you know, when we defend it well, it helps us because then we're able to get out and, uh, and go in transition, and I thought we were able to do that. You know, the, the Flagler kid got hot. You know, he got really hot in the second half. I thought uh, in the first half, you know, nobody was really bothering us at all, and he did all of his damage in the second half, and we just couldn't control him. Got a scheduling question for you. This is, I think, the second of six – or religious schools on the schedule. Is that just a coincidence, or was there some kind of... Of religious schools? Yeah. Religious-affiliated schools. Oh, I have. 
I have no idea. I mean, <laughs> I, I mean I, we don't look into that, but we got we got Liberty. I know that's a, a Christian affiliated school, but uh, I've got a good friendship with Richie McKay, so we scheduled that one for that. But Presbyterian and St. Francis are part of this tournament. I don't have anything to do with it. I didn't schedule Michigan State, didn't schedule Texas or North Carolina, didn't schedule Presbyterian or St. Francis. You have to ask Chris Spencer, who runs this tournament, of his affiliations with the teams we're playing.